So most of us know about the benefits of taking probiotics, things like improving your gut health and digestion. But after looking at the very latest research, I discovered five other benefits that are unexpected and maybe even a little weird. So this presentation is based on the research compiled by Healthline.com. If you want to see the original research or the papers, check it for yourself. I've left the link below this video. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because I'm going to give you a couple of really useful tips that will help you buy the best brand probiotic for your needs. So the first weird benefit of taking probiotics is improvements in mental health, specifically things like anxiety, depression, memory. And there was one study looking at these two bacteria, uh, bacteria strains, Bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus. And they looked at people who took these for one or two months had marked improvements in their anxiety, in their depression symptoms and in their memory, which is really exciting. And there was another study in Iran uh, that, looked like, that, that looked at 70 petroleum workers. And as you know, petroleum work is extremely stressful and extremely tough. And they studied 70, 70 of these workers who took 100 grams of probiotic yogurt per day. And they found that these workers experienced low anxiety, better mood, and again, this is really, really interesting. By the way, if you're thinking about buying a probiotic, tell me in the comments below the reason, the actual reason you are thinking of buying a probiotic, and I'll tell you whether it makes sense or not. Here is another unexpected benefit of taking probiotics, which is healthier heart. And specifically, we, know, we now know that probiotics help lower blood pressure and reduce cholesterol. And these are the two key factors for keeping your heart healthy. And we think the way probiotics reduce cholesterol is that they just break down bile and bile is mostly made up of cholesterol. If you can break it down, you prevent all that cholesterol being flushed back into the blood. And another study looked at people who eat uh, probiotic yogurt for two to eight weeks and they noticed that these people experienced lower cholesterol, specifically, more precisely, 4% reduction in their cholesterol and 5% reduction in their LDL cholesterol. So LDL cholesterol is what we call bad cholesterol, and you wanna keep that down as much as possible. But um, the bad news is that the reduction in blood pressure was not really that much. It was just a tiny reduction in blood pressure. And this, is, this bit here is the most interesting bit for me which is supplementation had to exceed eight weeks. So this is not something you take, you know, for two to, two to three weeks and then it, it does its magic. You have to persist with it for a couple of months and you have to be taking 10 million colony forming units daily. So colony forming units is um, it's a way we measure the number of bacteria in your product. So um, on the label of the probiotic you buy, it should really tell you how many colony forming units per, I don't know, per mil or per teaspoon or whatever, it should give you an idea and this is the magic number according to the studies that you need to be aiming for. The next weed benefit, I think it's going to be extremely popular, especially, you know, in these times and that is boosting the immune system. So probiotics have been shown to boost the immune system by stopping the growth of bad gut bacteria. There's also evidence that probiotics promotes antibody production. So antibodies are kind of uh, molecules in your body that are very important for fighting infections. Uh, for example, when you get sick, your body produces antibody production and anything that helps with the production of, the, of these antibodies will obviously boost your immune system. There's even evidence that taking probiotics can shorten colds. And uh, the last bit is for me the most exciting bit. Uh, there's a strain of uh, bacteria called Lactobacillus crispitus found in probiotics. Uh, some probiotics, not all probiotics, that has been shown to reduce the risk of urinary infections in women by 50%, which is huge. This weird benefit of taking probiotics, I think was also gonna be very popular with you guys, and it's weight loss and fat loss. So probiotics have been shown to help with both. And the way they do this is a couple of ways, we think. Uh, number one, they prevent fat absorption from food. So instead of the fat going into your blood, it just gets flushed out, you just poop it out. And the second way is um, they increase certain hormones in your body that make you feel fuller, like this hormone here, GLP-1. So obviously if you feel fuller, you're not eating as much 
and hopefully you'll lose weight. This is a really interesting study. They compared uh, women who took uh, this strain of bacteria called Lactobacillus rhamnosus for three months who lost 50% more weight than another group who were taking who were not taking this strain of bacteria. So basically they, they had two groups of women and one group took uh, this bacterium, the other group didn't take it, but everything else was the same. They were having the same diet, the same exercise, everything. And uh, they found that the group that took the probiotics lost 50% more weight, which is huge. This study is also quite exciting. A fairly large study of 210, 210 people, and they found that taking even low doses of uh, Lactobacillus gasseri, um, which is another strain of bacteria, uh, for 12 weeks resulted in 8.5 reduction in belly fat and of course we know that belly fat is the most dangerous type of fat so anything that helps you reduce this is welcome news but as with everything in science nothing is straightforward uh, other studies have shown that certain probiotics can actually <laughs> make you put on weight um, you know like lactobacillus acidophilus another unexpected benefit of taking probiotics is a reduction in allergies and eczema. So there's some evidence that probiotic, some probiotic strains, not all of them, may reduce the severity of eczema. There was one really interesting study that compared um, eczema symptoms in infants who took probiotic supplemented milk. So this is basically formula milk, formula milk that had probiotics with it and infants who had just normal formula milk without probiotics. Um, and they found that the ones who took uh, the probiotic supplemented milk had much improved eczema symptoms. And, and for people who have things like milk allergies, there's some evidence that probiotics reduce the inflammatory response in those people. And the link, it's worth saying as a caveat, the link between probiotics and all these benefits uh, for eczema and uh, allergies is still considered quite weak, so we still need more studies to confirm this 100%. So when it comes to buying the best probiotic for yourself, um, if it was me, the two factors that are the most important, number one are the types and variety of the bacteria strains in it, whether it's two strains, three strains, and exactly what strains, that's really important. And the second factor is the number of colony forming units, basically the volume, how much of the bacteria is in the probiotic. So those two, and I would add the third thing is, how long you use it for. So a lot of the research I looked at, um, people were using the uh, probiotic for eight weeks to 12 weeks. So I would say anything less than that, according to the research, it's not really tested. So those are my three tips. I might even do a video on how to buy or the best brands of probiotics in the future, if this is what you guys want. If this is what you want, tell me in the comments below and I'll make sure I do it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, bye.